a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Felix Sater Felix Henry Sater is a Russian-American former mobster, convicted felon, real estate developer and former managing director of Byrock Group LLC, a real estate conglomerate based out of New York City. Sater has been an advisor to many corporations, including the Trump Organization, Rixos Hotels and Resorts, Semble Construction, Potok, and TX Oil. In 1998, Sater pleaded guilty to his involvement in a $40 million stock fraud scheme orchestrated by the Russian Mafia, and became an informant for the Federal Bureau of Investigation and federal prosecutors, assisting with organized crime investigations. In 2017, Sater agreed to cooperate with investigators into international money laundering schemes. During the 2015-16 American presidential campaign, Sater worked with Michael Cohen, former attorney for the Trump Organization, to broker a deal to build a Trump Tower Moscow, asserting to Cohen that he could boost Trump's election prospects through his Russian contacts. He is scheduled to testify publicly before the House Intelligence Committee on March 14, 2019. Early Life and Family Sater was born in Moscow into a Russian Jewish family, the son of Mikhail Shefarovsky and Rachel Shefarovskaya. He has a sister, Regina. The family emigrated to Israel when Felix was eight years old to avoid religious persecution in the Soviet Union, and eventually came to the United States, living in Baltimore, Maryland before settling in Brighton Beach, New York in 1974. Felix and his sister adopted the surname Sater. Mikhail Shefarovsky states that the family name was Satarov at some point, according to the FBI. Mikhail Shefarovsky was an underboss for Russian Mafia, boss of bosses, Semen Mogilevich and convicted of extorting money from local restaurants, grocery stores, and a medical clinic. Felix Sater is reportedly a childhood friend of Michael Cohen. Business and Advisory Career Sater attended Pace University, dropping out at the age of 18 to work on Wall Street, initially as a cold caller at Bear Stearns. He subsequently worked at brokerages Ladenberg Thalman, Broadchild Securities, Rooney Pace, Shearson, Mosley Securities, Gruntel & Company and Lehman Brothers. In 1991 he assaulted a commodities broker in a bar and was convicted of first-degree assault in 1993. He spent 15 months in prison and was barred thenceforth by the National Association of Securities Dealers from acting as a broker or otherwise associating with a broker-dealer firm. A few years later, Sater changed paths to real estate, and eventually became a senior advisor for several corporations and industries in fields including real estate, hospitality, investing, and oil. Sater served as the senior advisor to Chairman Fesher Tamins of Rixos Oteleri, a Turkish hotel and resort company, starting in 2005. In 2007, he spent time as the senior advisor of Sembul Construction, a privately held construction company based in Istanbul, Turkey. In January 2008, Sater joined the Russian real estate company Mirex Group as a senior advisor to Sergei Polonsky, and stayed with the company through the integration of Mirex into the holding company Potok in 2011. In 2009, he became a managing director at Global Habitat Solutions, a New York City housing, energy, and infrastructure conglomerate. Since September 2011, Sater has been a senior advisor at TX Oil, a Turkmenistan-based oil company. Work with the Byrock Group Sater joined Byrock Group as a senior advisor in 2003 at the behest of the company's owner and founder, Tevfik Arif. As a senior advisor, he assisted with several projects, including executive decisions in the Trump Soho project. Trump Soho Felix Sater was a managing director of Byrock Group LLC, as well as a senior advisor to Donald Trump and the Trump Organization when construction of the Trump Soho began in 2006. He played a major role throughout the process of the building's construction and remained managing director of Byrock Group when the Trump Soho project was completed in 2010. The building is a $450 million, 46-story, 
391-unit hotel condominium located at 246 Spring Street in Soho, New York City. The project was a collaboration between the Trump Organization, Bayrock Group LLC and Tamir Sapir. In December 2017, the Trump Soho was renamed to the Dominic. Other projects Sata has been an advisor, investor, or developer in notable real estate projects including the Trump International Hotel and Residence in Phoenix, Arizona, the Conrad Fort Lauderdale and Midtown Miami in Florida, and Cornwall Terrace and One Blackfriars in London. In addition to real estate development endeavors, Sater also has started businesses in the fields of philanthropy, investment, retail, and energy. In late January 2017, Sater met with Ukrainian politician Andrei Artemenko and Donald Trump's personal lawyer, Michael D. Cohen, at the Lowe's Regency in Manhattan to discuss a plan to lift sanctions against Russia. The proposed plan would require that Russian forces withdraw from eastern Ukraine and that Ukraine hold a referendum on whether Crimea should be leased to Russia for 50 or 100 years. On 20 February 2017, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov rejected Russia, leasing, Crimea from Ukraine claiming, we cannot rent from ourselves. Criminal Convictions and Federal Cooperation Felix Sater has been described as a career criminal due to his links to organized crime. In 1991, Sater got into an argument with a commodities broker at the El Rio Grande restaurant and bar in Midtown Manhattan. He stabbed the man's cheek and neck with the stem of a cocktail glass, breaking his jaw, lacerating his face, and severing nerves, creating a wound that would require 110 stitches to treat. Sater was convicted of first-degree assault and spent 15 months in minimum security Edgecombe Correctional Facility in New York City before being paroled. In 1998, Sater was convicted of fraud in connection to a $40 million penny stock pump and dump scheme conducted by the Russian mafia involving his company White Rock Partners. In return for a guilty plea, Sater agreed to assist the FBI and federal prosecutors as an informant in organized crime. In 2009, he was sentenced to pay a $25,000 fine and served no prison time. As a result of his assistance, Satter's court records were sealed for 10 years by Loretta Lynch, then the United States Attorney for the Eastern District of New York. Lynch's decision to seal his records was discussed at her 2015 congressional confirmation hearings to become Attorney General. She stated that Sater provided information crucial to national security and the conviction of over 20 individuals, including those responsible for committing massive financial fraud and members of La Cosa Nostra. The Financial Times, citing five sources with knowledge of the matter, reported that Sater had agreed to cooperate with investigators looking into an international money laundering scheme involving Viktor Krupanov, a former government minister in Kazakhstan. Krupanov, who now lives in Switzerland, has been accused by the Kazakhstani government of embezzling millions of dollars and is wanted by Interpol. Sater received multiple subpoenas to produce documents and be deposed in the case against Mukhtar Ablazov who is alleged to have defrauded BTA Bank of up to $5 billion as chairman. Ablazov's alleged fraud is one of the biggest cases of financial fraud in history. Involvement with Trump Organization During Presidential Campaign The Trump Organization pursued a luxury hotel and condominium project in Moscow, dubbed the Trump Tower Moscow, during the Trump presidential campaign. This project was facilitated by Michael Cohen, then an attorney for the Trump Organization, and from January 2017 to May 2018 Trump's personal attorney. Trump signed a non-binding letter of intent, dated October 13, 2015, to proceed with the project. The letter, also signed by Russian investor Andrei Rozov, was forwarded to Cohen by Sater. He boasted to Cohen about his connections to Vladimir Putin, saying in an email to Cohen on November 13, 2015, Buddy our boy can become president of the USA and we can engineer it. I will get all of Putin's sick team to buy in on this. I will manage this process.
He also asserted that he had secured financing for the project through the Russian state-owned VTB Bank, which was under sanctions by the United States government. BuzzFeed News reported on March 12, 2018, that Mueller's investigators had questioned Sater, and on April 13, 2018, reported that a former Russian spy had helped secure financing for the project. In 2010, Sater was provided business cards describing himself as senior advisor to Donald Trump, with an email address at trumporg.com. In a 2013 sworn affidavit, Trump said, if Sater were sitting in the room right now, I really wouldn't know what he looked like, and in 2015 he stated, Felix Sater, boy, I have to even think about it. I'm not that familiar with him. Trump has been photographed several times with Sater, including while speaking privately with him. Sater is scheduled to testify publicly before the House Intelligence Committee on March 14, 2019. Personal Life Sater resides in Port Washington, New York. He has three daughters. Felix Sater was a member of the Habard of Port Washington and was named their Man of the Year in 2010 and 2014. In November 2017, Sater put his home in Sands Point, New York on the market for $2.5 million. The home sold in February 2019 for $2.03 million. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?